When it comes to the use ref hook in React, some developers think this hook is just used for creating references that you can attach to your elements. And that way you can do different things on that element, like changing the color of the element on mount or getting the elements dimensions, which you can use for whatever. And while the use ref hook allows you to do this, this is not the primary purpose of the hook. You can do more things with the hook. By definition, this hook allows you to create references that persist in different renders. What I mean by this is if we come here and we try to create a variable called counter i'm going to keep track of a state called team here i'm going to have a button change the team and then when you click on this button we're going to have a function that says toggle team and here i can create the function toggle team and in this function what i do is to first increase the counter variable by one and then i set the team based on the current team and i also added this paragraph here that team is team now let's say i come here to log the counter when i refresh this page we have counter zero that's because counter here is initialized to zero but then you expect that when i click this button and this button calls this function it's going to increase the counter variable to one so the next counter value should be one but if i click on change team and the component we renders you see we still have counter here as zero now what is happening here is that when this component re renders variables like counter are going to be redefined and redeclared so even if we already have counter plus plus since this line here cost a re render in that re render this variable will be created again with the value of zero but what if we want to persist the value of this variable in multiple renders well in that case you can choose to keep a state for counter but in this case the counter value is not really part of our rendering so i don't need to use use state for that because if i change counter i don't want the component to re render so in this case where i want to keep track of a value without causing the component to re render i can use use ref so here i can have my counter ref now i can delete this line and delete this line and on this counter ref i can assess the current property which is going to point to the current value of the ref now the thing with this current property is that whenever i change it it's not going to cause a re render so coming back to this function i can say counter ref current plus plus this is not going to cause a re render but interesting thing here is once i update this ref in the next render i'm going to have access to the current value that the ref holds so if i refresh this currently this holds zero now when i come here and i click on this button it's going to cause a re-render and in this re-render counter ref dot current is going to hold the current value that the ref holds so since we increased it here to one we're still going to have access to that current value which is one here if i click on this again we have two if i click on this again we have three and let me show you one very good use case of this let's say you want to perform an operation when a component updates and not when it is mounted if i come here to my use effect and let's say i add team as a dependency it means that this use effect is going to run every time team changes but one thing to note is that this is also going to run on mount and every time team changes but what if we only want to run this every time team changes without running it on mount if you are using class components you can easily do this in component did update but when you are using hooks in this case use effect you cannot specifically target only when the component is updated now you might think okay i'm going to keep a variable here called is mounted give this as false then i have a use effect here which only runs on mounts and then i'm going to say is mounted is equals to true and here in my use effect if the component has not been mounted yet i'm going to return so this way i'm trying to ensure that in this use effect the rest of this code only runs after the component has already mounted i have already been mounted if i refresh this now this isn't going to work so here we have is mounted is false and then we expect that when the component is mounted is mounted should be true and once is mounted is true we can now run this part but if i come here and i click on change team you can see no matter how much i change team i never have in my console that i have already been mounted so what's happening here again is is mounted is false in this current render we change is mounted to true but then when we call this toggle team which updates the state the component is going to forget that is mounted is now true it is going to declare this variable again as is mounted is false and that is why this part here is mounted is always false but then we can use use ref again for this so is mounted here i'm going to have my use ref with a default value of false and then here 
I'm going to say is mounted dot current is equal to true. Then here I can now check that if the current value is false, that means the component has not been mounted yet. But if it is true, then it's going to run this part. And now if I should refresh this again, you can see the console is empty because is mounted is false. When the component is mounted, we change is mounted to be true. So even if I click this button and it causes a re-render, is mounted is still going to point to the current value of the reference. So that means in this case, is mounted is going to be true. And then the rest of this is going to run. So when I click on change team now, you can see we have, I have already been mounted. And that way we only run the rest of this code when the component is updated and not when the component is mounted. I hope this few examples helps you to understand the use ref hook better. Use ref hook is not used for attaching references to element, but it is used for creating references that persist in different renders. And those references could be dumb elements, booleans, or numbers. It could really be anything. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, share with others, and also subscribe for more React videos like this.